Hey everybody, welcome to Bodhi Acumen Wellness. Today we're talking lumbar decompression stretches. Now, of course, if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. So these days, unfortunately, we are seeing a ton of people coming into my clinic specifically with uh, compression in their lower back, especially L3, L4, L5, S1 vertebras, uh, whether they have um, discs that are herniated, whether they have osteophytes, little bone spurs growing off, if the foramens, the space where the nerve root comes out is being compressed, either way, people are getting pain in both the lower back and that goes down into the glute and down the leg. And so, yes, I treat this with acupuncture to rebuild and rehydrate the disc, but it's actually really, really effective between treatments uh, to decompress or stretch out uh, the vertebra. Um, and when we sleep, this is something that happens naturally. You lie down, there's no weight on your body, uh, and so the discs hydrate a little bit. Um, but we really want some decompression. So inverting our body, hanging from our feet would be a wonderful thing to do, but uh, uh, inversion tables are big and expensive and take up a lot of space and we don't have a place that we can, you know, hook up some gravity boots onto a, a chin-up bar. So here I'm going to teach you a very simple stretch that you can do multiple times a day and I have my patients do this three times a day uh, so that they can decompress their lower lumbar between treatments. Very simple thing you can do. So uh, basically I'm using a stretch called a sink stretch and I've modified this stretch. This was created by a dancer, a dance instructor uh, named Finnis Jung, uh, who was looking to take some pressure off his dancers back from all the jumping that was compressing their back. Uh, so we've modified it a bit so that we can individually decompress the nerve roots on both left and right side of the spine uh, if you have an individual pain that goes down the one side of the body. Uh, so really simple modification that we've made. So really easy to get in position. All you need is a sink. So you're gonna step your feet out a little wider than shoulder width. Now, depending on how much pressure you want, how much traction you want, is gonna be how far you are from the sink. So if you stand closer to the sink, your body weight is gonna create more traction. But to start off with, always step a little bit farther back so you can ease onto it. You can always do more. So we're gonna step our feet back. We're gonna hold onto the edge of the sink. Now, we're gonna create a little traction in our neck. So we're gonna, uh, or a little slack, I should say, in our neck. So we're gonna lift the head up as we sink our body back. And we're gonna sink our body all the way down to our head is in line with our hands and we're gonna relax our tummy completely. So gravity is doing everything. Just the weight of our hips is stretching our body back. Once we get into this position, you can relax your head down to a neutral position. Now here's where we're gonna start. So you're gonna to totally relax your belly. We're gonna take five big breaths here. And as you breathe out, just totally relax everything, except for your grip, obviously, and let gravity do all the work. So you're gonna do five easy breaths here. And then what we're gonna do from this position, we're gonna just pivot on the heel and we're gonna rotate the feet 45 degrees to the left. And you're gonna notice it, quite an increase in stretch on the left side of your lower back. Once again here, we're gonna do five nice deep diaphragmatic breaths, relaxing the body here, letting gravity do all the work. And then we're gonna pivot again, 45 to the right, so we can decompress that right side. Any nerve roots are being compressed over there. And once again, five big breaths here, totally relaxed. Last up, we're gonna pivot back to the neutral position here. We're gonna do five more breaths in this position. And now important, after we do those last five breaths is how to come out. So we're gonna tighten our tummy once again because it's been relaxed the whole time. We're gonna tighten our tummy, we're gonna bend our knees shifting to the vertical, and then we're gonna stand back up so we don't put any pressure on our back when we come out of this. So this is a very simple way we can traction and stretch out the lower back and decompress and traction uh, both the uh, discs and vertebra of our lower back. So this can be done multiple times a day. I recommend this is done two or three times a day, every day. Uh, it works in conjunction with any chiropractor work if you're doing or any acupuncture work you're gonna do, or if you just need a good stretch for that lower back after a long day work. Give it a try. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. As always, uh, do me a favor and share this video with your friends and family. Help me to help other people. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.